Welcome to our podcast, Keep You Flying. In this podcast, Lufthansa Technics experts deep dive into their field of knowledge in aircraft MRO and provide exclusive insights into the design and production of parts for VIP, special mission, and commercial aircraft. Today, Jan-Philipp Goresh will share with you how we at Lufthansa Technik simplify troubleshooting with Aviatar's condition monitoring. Jan-Philipp is our product lead monitor and detect digital fleet services. He explains what makes digital services and data-driven maintenance the new standard in aircraft operations. Nothing is changing the tech ops industry and driving the development of new MRO solutions like digitalization. It can even be said to be the only game changer in this decade. During the last year, flexible and extensive solutions became increasingly important in every branch and as well in the airline industry. With 50 times more data being generated by new aircraft types, connecting and preparing data in the right amount and form to the users to improve MRO services and generate major cost savings potential is a key element for operations. Knowing everything about the real-time condition of every system component in the air and at any time and anywhere. Managing data streams and centrally accessing always up-to-date maintenance records. This is what makes digital services and data-driven maintenance the new standard in aircraft operations. Let's take a closer look at what our core function and centerpiece was from the beginning. Condition monitoring was one of the initial solutions we presented on our digital aviation suit Aviatar in 2017. We started as the first independent MRO provider to visualize insights and offer analysis functions, as well as the ability to not only alert users, but also provide them with a recommendation for the problem that occurred. Our goal has been to provide global access on the conditions, let our customers benefit from faster and more efficient troubleshooting, visualize all relevant indicators regarding aircraft status and flight schedule, and combine health data with work orders and position data. Our result was improved time management, reduced severity of incidents, and minimized ground time and costs. Further, in close collaboration with the event analytics solution, root cause analysis, fault patterns, and parameter analysis are enabled as a self-service solution to gain more insights from the data provided. We knew we needed a browser-based application that could work with multiple aircraft types, provide early detection of faulty systems, and uncover hidden correlations and reoccurring faults with the ability to trigger work orders. But most importantly, and even more so in times of crisis, saving more costs than other solutions. Furthermore, there is efficient cross-linking into manufacturer documents, which creates immense time savings. In the event of fault messages, additional information is displayed, making it possible to access Boeing or Airbus documents while being linked to their servers. Thus, condition monitoring is the single screen solution of efficient troubleshooting that connects to other sources and applications once it is necessary. Now, how does the implementation of data work? First of all, the right combination of data is key, and data sovereignty for us includes control, choice, and competition. The best result requires the combination of the best data. That's why we combine aircraft data with flight ops and ground system data and connect it directly to the M&E system. But we let our users choose which data to provide as well as the transmission path and combine it with the second stream coming from the M&E system. Our customers only need to invest about four to eight hours for the connection to our condition monitoring solution on Aviatar. The rest is on us. And by two weeks at the latest, we will have the basic solution online and ready to use. Let me end this episode with a little outlook. Customer-centric product development driven by Aviatar community. The further development of solutions on Aviatar has always been based on our strong community consisting of our partners. Therefore, we do not only make use of our feedback function on the platform, but also through interactive webcasts and community meetings, as well as one-on-one -on -one feedback. For example, 
one of our customers asked us to implement a tracking function in condition monitoring because it is very important to see which alert has already been taken care of and by which engineer. After discussing the detailed requirements with the customers, we developed the function and it is now available for all community members. So we've made it a tradition to even prioritize the change requests within our user community and involve them in the product development roadmap. I hope this overview has given you an idea of our efforts. Would like to hear your thoughts on what is most important to you when it comes to your condition monitoring solution. Have you already implemented it in your daily operations? Let's get in touch and discuss. I look forward to it. Thanks for joining this episode of Lufthansa Technics podcast, Keep You Flying. If you'd like to hear more from us, don't forget to subscribe. For more deep dives, also check out our LinkedIn channel, where we regularly share expert content.